What's up guys, this is Ginger Adventures here with a quick how-to tutorial how to clean the Sibago Dockside's boat shoe. These are five years old and I have, I have treated them several times um, but you can tell that they are showing their age. So here's the before and here's what I'm using. I'm just going to be using the Clark's Leather Lotion, Cleans, Conditions, Polishes and Protects. So I guess to call this a cleaning uh, would be a bit of an overstatement. I'm just going to be treating it and then hitting it with some of this water and stain protector from Clark's as well at the end. That's just an aerosol spray. So all I'm doing is taking an old piece of a towel. I apply a general amount, not a really specific quantity here, just a lot. And then I have wiped off the, the dust that may have been on there already. And I'm going to go ahead and really work in that leather lotion. I like to make sure I get it around the seams, around the stitching, around the toe. Those are, those are areas that will be prone to breakage if you don't do a good job in taking care of them. Um, these are five years old again, and none of these seams, none of the leather has broken at all. You can actually see the full shoe review in a different video. I even drizzle some on the laces because those two are, are leather. We often don't realize that leather is skin. Might be kind of gross for you. It's dead skin from a cow or other sources. And it requires that you put some lotion on it or it starts to get dry, ashy, cracked, right? And uh, it's unhealthy. Just like our bodies need lotion, so does leather. So it's coming right along here. There's now a bit on the actual rag, so I can off almost just take it and just wipe it along the shoe. Um, I'm not too too timid with this. I like to just uh, apply a good healthy amount, drizzle this along the side, wipe it in. It will naturally seep in. You just kind of have to work it into the areas where it wouldn't that naturally flow unless you actually soaked it. With this shoe, it's actually kind of cool that uh, you can actually tighten the the actual back so it actually won't, won't slip off your heel. You can pull that heel in by tightening those side, side straps, those side pieces there. Let's put some more on the heel. Don't spill on the bed. Wifey would not love that. Although I've spilled some already, it looks like. No bigs, no bigs. All right, rounding the heel. I'm wearing these into work today, so I want to make sure they look uh, look their best. It's almost nice and hot summertime here in Logan, Utah, and so I'm. Making sure that uh, I'm not too hot at work today because it's been getting warm. All right, well, there's one. Let's do a side by side here. Check them out here. Really does a good job. Um, you know, it doesn't make them look brand new, but it doesn't make them look as trashy and destroyed. I kind of like the. A little bit older look there that you get from wearing a shoe that's got some age. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. I'm going to do that to the other shoe real quick and rock them on. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe, thumbs it up, and let me, let me know what else you guys want to see. Thanks so much. Until next time. Bye.